Andrew Lloyd Webber's The Phantom of the Opera is one of the most successful musicals of all time, playing to over 130 million people worldwide. Now the story continues in Love Never Dies, Webber's critically acclaimed sequel. The show opened to a really enthusiastic crowd last night at the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. We appreciate the stars getting up and at them early for us after a really late night last night. We are delighted to welcome Megan Pacerno, who plays Christine, and Bronson Norris Murphy, who is the Phantom. Hi. Great Hi. to have you both with us. Thanks for having us. The show was so amazing last night. I was telling somebody it takes vocal performance to a new level. Oh, I mean, it's oh, you guys are you. just <laughs> remarkable. Thank you. Nice to hear. You really are. And I love your story because you have a Nashville connection. I sure do. Tell me about it. I was born and raised in Bowling Green, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and my arts outlet was T Pac. Um, the first show I ever saw there was The Phantom of the Opera, the original wow. tour, um, uh, and I remember coming to TPAC, you know, every so often with my parents who also love theater, uh, they would bring me down and I think that might be where my performing arts bug uh, started. And yet right. you never were sitting in the audience thinking, I'm gonna be the Phantom someday. Oh no, no, who, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was studying to be a music teacher and it's still wow. one of my biggest loves is uh, arts education. But you know, sometimes other things happen and you get to wear a mask for a living. Yeah, <laughs> so, no kidding, what fun. Yeah. So tell me the story of uh, Love Never Dies. It takes up uh, about 10 years later, I guess, yes. from where so, Phantom of the Opera uh, leaves off. So we find your favorite characters 10 years later. Uh, Christine is a world famous opera diva <laughs> and she's married to Raul. They have a child, Gustav, and um, the marriage is strained and they need money. So they are invited to go over to Coney Island to perform at the Oscar Heimerstein Opera House to open it. And yet then they're intercepted by the Phantom <laughs> and his <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, and his and his gang of uh, well, they're at Coney Island, and that's when we also are introduced to Madame Giri, Meg Giri, and you basically go on a roller coaster mm. ride, literally, literally, yeah, literally. quite literally, yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah. So it really is a spectacular show. Uh, talk about what it's like playing the role of the Phantom. There's so many different colors to that role. There are, and you know what's so brilliant about this role is, of course it's fiction, so every actor can bring their own humanity to it. So while, while I, I'm sure my performance has drawn o on the people who have played the Phantom uh, before, I get to bring Bronson to it, sure. you know, and I don't have to just put on the, the guise of some other completely different human. Uh, I hope I never find myself in his predicaments, yeah. but, <laughs> but you know, we've all felt love and loss and yearning to rekindle love and um, it's a great responsibility, one that I take very seriously and uh, play with great joy. Yeah, people who love the original show, I know are wanting to know, are you gonna hear any of those same songs? Mm. I heard some themes. Exactly, you know, um, ears. I mean, Good yeah, ears. indeed. Um, Andrew Lloyd Webber is truly, I go, it goes without he's saying. He's brilliant. And he's brilliant, he's a musical genius and he very specifically quotes music from the original at times that are so poignant in Love Never Dies that will harken back to points in Phantom of the Opera that are connected emotionally. So especially for super fans or fans that realize this, you'll you'll have that moment of, oh, I, I recognize that yeah. bit. Yes. But there's never a mistake of why it's being used. Yeah. It's pretty brilliant. Exactly. What songs do you think from this show will be the ones that everyone knows and remembers? Mm. The title song. Um, Love Never Dies. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That's For sure. I mean, Until I Hear You Sing. Until I Hear You Sing. The I first think. song yes. of the show is also mm -hmm. uh, a really popular song from the show. Mm -hmm. And then I think Meg's numbers too are so fun. I was going so to fun. say, I mean, that's the thing. Those like, are really hummable. The, for me, yeah, for me actually, Meg's songs get stuck in my head probably yeah. more than anyone else's. She's I, remarkable too. Oh, yeah. she's oh. I mean, the whole Our cast, cast is, is yeah. so talented. So it's Well, really I'm wonderful. so glad you're here in Nashville. I'm so glad I got to see the show. Yes, I'd love to see it again. I hope you guys will come out. Love Never Dies is an amazing production. It's on stage at the Tennessee Performing Arts Center through this Sunday. For tickets, you can head to the box office on Dedrick Street here in downtown Nashville or check out tpac.org. Right now, though, we are giving away four tickets to see the final performance of the show this Sunday. Be the fifth caller at 615-737-5000 to win.